Hey, what's up guys, I'm Vortac, and I am back once again in Mechanica with some early game tips, some more early game tips for getting you started in the game when you first, uh, when you first play. So, don't forget to check out my last Mechanica tips video linked down below, and uh, huge thanks for you watching. If you enjoy videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. Alright, so first things first, when you get into the game, you are going to have, well, nothing, and getting supplies isn't that difficult, but before you start crafting nice fancy windows and barricades, it's good to know that you can take the furniture that was usually laying here at the gas station and put it right in the window. Bots uh, are blocked by stuff like this. If you pile up stuff in your windows, they will have trouble getting through, at least in this stage. Perhaps later they can break this down, but for now, you are uh, a little bit better defended and uh, barricading yourself in with various items you find around the map, and there's a lot more of these uh, out there in the desert. Th this will help you for sure. When you start programming in Mechanica, it helps to start really simple and add more complicated programs from there. So for my light, event listener, on switch on, execute toggling light, and the same for off. Test it out, see if the light toggles on and off, and from there you can add even more advanced programs to this. Crates can make great stairs for reaching high up places, and uh, I would recommend getting a, a nice stack of crates next to your base or if you're staying at the gas station next to there, because when a robot attack occurs, you're going to want to put your turrets high up. Robots can break these, and uh, turrets can be a great defense, but if your robots are gonna, <laughs> if the robots are gonna come and just break them, you're gonna be wasting your supplies. So put them high up, and program them to defend you uh, without them getting destroyed by pesky robots. You'll probably want to place them a little bit better than I have here, since uh, <laughs> I've had to lure the robots away from the base in an effort to get them to actually get shot at. All the traps you see here are programmable, just like the flamethrower I've placed down there. If we turn it on, it will begin frying up the robots, and very effectively. But we have to remember to actually turn this off. However, there is another option. Rather than having a simple toggle on and off for turning the flamethrower on and off, we can actually set it up so that it will wait. And the switch I'm using probably isn't the ideal uh, switch for this, but a nice simple program for turning on the flamethrower and then having a timer so it turns off automatically rather than wasting all of our precious fuel. Of course, positioning it a little bit more strategically might be of interest <laughs> as that didn't hit anybody. Of course, when you're not getting attacked by robots while you're trying to record, uh, you can set up more sophisticated trap systems, and uh, that way <laughs> you don't have to code in panic. But pressing this button will turn on these flamethrowers, and if there are intruders at my door, they will be promptly roasted. The last quick tip I have for you is that if you find any trouble with the game, perhaps if you're trying to program something and it's just not working, I would recommend checking out the Mechanica Discord because not only are the folks in there very helpful, uh, but you may have stumbled upon a bug. Sometimes there's, there's issues with programming and it's simply because a feature hasn't been implemented yet or there's just a bug. So definitely follow up with the Mechanica Discord, especially while it is in early access. So these were just some quick tips that I really should have included in the last video. I want to thank uh, the folks in Discord and also my friend Weemcast for uh, throwing some extra tips my way since I made the last uh, Mechanica tips video. So be sure to go check that out because there's even more in there. And uh, if you have any questions or suggestions for other videos I could be doing about Mechanica, anything you would like to see me cover, let me know in the comments. I would love to cover it. I plan on doing some more in-depth tutorials and some programming tutorials uh, as time goes on and as the game explores adding more features within early access. So please be sure to check all that out. I appreciate you being here. I will see you in the next one. Catch you later.